How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Today we're going to do a little painting. Like that. We're going to do a little painting. Something uh, more, uh, what do we call this? Natural. Nature. Not natural, but nature. Here we go. Those of you who are like, oh my God, I love the way he paints. You haven't seen anything yet. You ain't seen no, 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 nothing yet. Brandon. Here we go. Man, today I woke up like, I woke up like this. I woke up a little bit, um, a little bit flawless. Oh, I had a, I had a massage. We get a, my wife and I get a massage therapist. Once a month, and uh, I mean it's good for the muscles, right? Because I'm I use da, 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 I use my hand all the time, right? My hands and whatnot. But uh, it also makes my body a little bit sore, and so I end up. I end up feeling that. Very good con potatoes. I end up feeling that um, the effects of that very strong. The effects of um, having my muscles tired, right? From a massage therapy. You believe that? You would think, right? I don't know. I would think. That it would be the other way around. That after a one hour massage, my muscles would feel better, but they actually hurt. So I'm painting with a little bit of a little bit of pain. If you know what I mean. If that makes any sense to anyone out there, please tell me. If it does, some people say that pain is just the price. I don't know. I don't know if it's the price or not, but I do know that it hurts my little muscles. Look at that! Ooh la la! This is oil. This is not acrylic. This is oil on canvas. I just make it super smooth, smooth jazz. Many artists have asked me about my awesomeness. How is it that I make it so smooth jazz? And uh, I just do. That way the paint is manageable, right? So you, 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 you want to make it smooth. You want to make it super smooth jazz. Otherwise, Otherwise, it's not going to be manageable. It'll do whatever it wants. Look at that. Ooh, la la. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the love. So the work is, is fairly simple um, in execution, but uh, but uh, don't be deceived by my simple brush strokes. They are a product of 20 plus years of being in the game. So there, there's a lot of artists out there who want to make it uh, simple right away, and. Uh, and I highly recommend you practice simple, but but also remember, you, you gotta put in the time, right? You gotta put in the time. If you don't put in the time, you don't put those ten thousand hours. It's a little bit hard to make something uh, look so simple. It's a little bit harder, I would say, not hard, but harder.
the the trick is to not fall under the spell of thinking that that the work is somehow uh, that the artist I guess that the artist is somehow magical right the key is to understand that that I think I think the key is to understand that um, the work just wants to come out and you are are merely the servant you're like a, those uh, um, birth birthers I guess I don't know is that what you would call them the people that, that aid people uh, when they're giving birth how would you call them? how would, well there's a name for those people you're you're assisting the, the, the paint the artwork to come out right? you're assisting it you're like a little push here a little push there almost there almost there so that's the beauty of this type of painting that every little touch that I do every little thing it's it's intentional as random as it looks everything is intentional the whole the whole thing is intentional why is it intentional otherwise it would never be there look the the universe has conspired for this to be here might as well allow it to be there hey how's it going richard richard says i agree not really a mystery behind being an artist no, there's not much mystery. The 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 galleries and and other people have made it a, a huge thing to make art mysterious and sort of um, like this thing that only a few select people could actually. But that's not true. I don't think that's true. I think that anyone can be an artist, and being an artist is not that difficult. I think that anyone is an artist, it's just that everyone is an artist in their own way. It's just that some people just um, practice it, right? Other people don't practice it. Other people say, yeah, well, I remember when I was a kid, I used to draw a lot. Well, you you, swear, you stopped, right? You stopped. Look at that. When I was a kid, I used to draw a lot too, but I didn't stop. I stopped for a little bit. A little moments, right? I was a I was a musician, so I would be like, I'm out to the road. I gotta go out on the road, play music. I used to be a guitarist, so I gotta go and. I love the smell of amplifiers. And it's, it's the sound of ele electric music, electronic music, especially. I like the sound of that. I was one of those interesting dudes. I was uh, bending, circuit bending, and I, I thought I was a, uh, I thought I was a, uh, I was uh, in the band Radiohead. I was like, I'm going to do this. Of course, I didn't. I was like, oh man, I got to get back to painting. Now that I wasn't going to be a rock star, <laughs> I got I back to something I know. Check it out. <laughs> Richard says I ran, ran across snobby art sales people at galleries they're a joke yeah you can run in, you can run into some very interesting people from time to time look at that yeah um, I have a slightly hard time with you know, um, art crowds interestingly enough because I spend a lot of time in the studio and I can sniff that they ha they don't spend any time in the studio so I have a little hard time with art crowds you know you go to a gallery and everybody's talking about deeper meaning of art and and then they're like yeah you gotta check out my work and you're like oh my god the work must be amazing and then you realize that everything they do is a it's a working project. They never finish anything, and not everybody, but a, a lot of the art crowd people. And it's all just uh, it's all just like BS. It's all just kind of BS. 
They never really work at anything. They will somehow are trying to start a project or get into a project that they, they haven't, you know, work on. Something like that. What medium are you using with oil? Uh, uh, the only medium that you can use with oil. Oil. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> now people use turpentines and whatnot. I use uh, walnut oil. Walnut oil. This is a very, uh, very expensive oil. It's about $100 a gallon. Walnut oil. That's what I use. Yeah. Um, you want to see the brand? Some people want to see the brand that I use. I'll show you the brand. Okay. There's the brand. Brand. Yeah, this gallon's about 100 bones. Just about anywhere. So... Use with care. Uh, Richard says, smoke and mirror artists. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You know, they're just, just pretenders. They just like to pretend that something's happening when nothing's really happening. It's just happening in their head. And then they want to convince everyone else that it's actually happening. I was around those circles when I was, when I, when I was a younger artist. You know, and uh, didn't get anything out of it other than just being upset because everybody was too busy getting high and drinking and I actually wanted to get shit done so I realized that was in the wrong circles it took me a while to realize though because because it seems legit unless when you don't know it seems legit right when you don't know you're like oh my god they're gonna oh let's work on a project yeah let's work on a project let's put a project together yeah and then nothing happened and then and then days went by months went by and years went by and I was like oh man like it seems like not, and, and it always seemed like they were always having a hard time, which is part of the thing that I really dislike the most. Because um, I had a family, and that shit started to not fly, you know? I was like, how come these people don't see, like, they, they and I don't, I don't mean this to be disrespectful, because everyone's in a different place, but, but the crowd itself, right, the crowd itself, seemed to always having, have a hard time paying bills, and 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 selling artwork and i was like oh. and some of them were really like much older than me some of them were like twice my age some of them were 10 20 years older than me some of them 30 years older than me and i was like oh man yeah a bunch of big eagles just huge eagles you know like like people know them in town but uh but never get anything done it's so weird it's the weirdest thing so i was like you know what i need to get into a studio and that's what I did. I was like, I need, to, I need to go do the opposite of what these people do. Because what these people did was they talked about art all the time, but never got to it. I was like, I need to go into painting. I love talking about art. If you see any of my videos, I'm always talking about art. But I'm painting at the same time, right? I'm, I'm, I'm walking and praying. Let's call it that. Uh, yeah, totally. Totally. Just these huge egos. So, yeah, I'm 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 glad I I left those fools. I left those fools, those insolent fools. Check that out. Yeah, they know too much. That's the problem. A lot of those artists know too much. Like they they they, they know too much, right? They they read articles about being an artist, but uh, never really spent enough time in the studio. MMCM.art says, how does eBay work for you? I see you work on there. It looks amazing. Uh, eBay works for me as much as I work for it. Uh, I've talked about this many times in, in different platforms. Look, I'm starting to use Etsy. And Etsy's working for me too now. And so, for the longest time, I didn't use Etsy. I just had a couple of things there. And when I started committing to Etsy... Boom, maybe it started working for me. Now I'm selling stuff regularly on Etsy. And it's a, it's a funny thing, though, too, because it's whatever you commit to, you know. I committed to eBay a long time ago, and so it started working for me. And now I'm, I'm committing to Etsy, and, and I'm committing to other, other platforms and other, other places. And just whatever you commit to. I mean, you know, I know people on Etsy. They're making six, seven figures, you know, income, yearly incomes. Uh... 
Totally. I can see why. Yeah. eBay has done that for me. Yeah. eBay has done that for me as well. I know Etsy can do it too. I know I can do it on Etsy too. I can pull it off. You just gotta be. You just gotta be very committed. You gotta be there. You know. You gotta be there. You gotta be there so hard that people think you're annoying. That's how hard you have to be there. So there it is, guys. Check it out. Boom. This painting is gonna be available on eBay, by the way. Okay, because I auction a lot of my work. And so you can go check this work out on eBay. The auction's gonna start at 99 cents because because I'm crazy like that. If you don't see a link somewhere, ask me for the link or go to my stories. You know what? I'm putting the links in my stories. Uh I'm putting the links of these paintings in my Instagram stories so you can check it out and you can like switch and like like go search them. And there's a link in the stories that you can click and it'll take you straight to the auction. It'll be cool like that. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see a link somewhere below on the comment section. I'm going to put a link there. Richard says, platforms have different followers independent of themselves. Uh, yeah, um, pla platforms have followers, but for the most part, it's a little tricky to tap into their followers. You, 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 you really have to do extra effort to get their attention because... For every platform, there's a hundred thousand artists trying to sell stuff, you know? Uh, for every platform, there's at least probably a million artists in there trying to sell stuff. So your stuff is not even being seen. No matter how good it is, it's just not being seen, period. I mean, you can put a, you can put a, a diamond there, and if nobody sees it, and you auction it, it goes for a dollar. That's how it is, right? I'm talking about eBay. Uh, other places like Etsy or any other places, if people don't see it. They just don't see it and it's gone. This is why people have a, such a hard time. They're like, I want to do what you do and I haven't been able to do it. And, and they get upset and they're like, oh my God, I've been trying to sell on eBay, but I can't. And they're like, how do you do it? And I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, I can coach you, but I don't know. Seems like, I tell some artists, it seems like ramming your head on the wall seems easier than just spending $300 in one hour for me to coach you and help you. Yeah, so the world's greatest living artist for a reason. Awesome work. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Love that. So, yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> different platforms, doesn't matter the platform. It's very hard to get the people to watch your stuff. This is why there's like Marmalade for, for Etsy and all these other things that help you, you know, SEO and, you know, to. For those of you who don't know, like search engine optimization, like to find to find your stuff, right? Because no matter where you go, it's hard to find your stuff. Look, if you're doing an art fair show out in the, I don't know, out in the, in your local town somewhere, people are not going to find your booth. It's hard to find your booth, right? You have to put some sort of, I don't know. Uh, think of it this way, guys. I'm going to give you a little tip now that I'm feeling generous. Think of it this way. If you, go to, if you go to any casino in Vegas, you notice something interesting about every casino? Just about every casino. The smart ones, right? I think they're all smart in the strip. You notice something interesting? They have an attention-getting gimmick in front of it. They have an attention-getting gimmick in front of the casino. This is what you have to do in your website or your platform, whatever you're using. The Bellagio has the fountains, right? The, the pirate one has a pirate ship outside. Treasure Island. Nudes in front of a casino. Yeah, you, they usually yeah, they usually do that, right? They usually have some pretty people outside the casino. Uh, right? Standing out there with feathers and whatnot. Why? Why? Some attention-getting gimmick. Come here. You know, walk inside. You're going to like this place. Why? Right, they spend a lot of energy, a lot of money doing that. Uh, some of them, like the MGM, what do they do? They have fights, right? They have the the the, the boxing matches. They have they have singers, all of that stuff. Why, why 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 do you guys think they have Celine Dion there singing every night, or they had Britney Spears? It's not. They don't care about the singer. I mean, they do, but that's not the reason why they have them there. They have the singer so that people can go to the show and then walk out and then be like, oh, okay, where do we go now? Oh, let's stay here in the casino and have fun. Right? That's, that's the whole...
the whole thing. So uh, that's that's how your art business. If you want to model something, in, something intelligent, model model Vegas, model Disneyland. Look at what Disney does. Yeah, exactly. Look at what they do. They give you a ride, and then at the end, walk through the gift shop. You have to walk through the gift shop. They they give you an attention getting gimmick that you're gonna love, by the way. And then at the end, you have to pay something, right? Or or you're offered something. You don't have to pay anything, but you're offered something. You're offered something. You're offered a, a some sort of pitch. Right? That's how everything is. This is how we make decisions for the most part. Right? It's it's emotional, and then we make sense of it later. We're like, well, I really need it, but do we really need it? <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. If you like this painting, here's my pitch. Okay, now that you saw me painting, wink, wink. Uh, go check it out on eBay. The auction's going to start at 99 cents, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. All right? Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.